Introducing the all-new Phoebus Proteus back once again with all new colors and dials. This one, the black forged carbon PY024H. My first experience with a forged carbon dial and it's phenomenal. The dial has a charming shimmer when natural sunlight makes contact. To show the effect, some of the macros in this video are shot with natural sunlight. Enjoy. The Proteus is sharp, bold, and angular. The case relatively straight at the bottom with a dramatic right turn downwards on the tip of those faceted lugs, high polished chamfer on the top of the shoulder blade all the way across the mid case to the other side. I love when they add a high polish bevel. Excellent design choice. The rest of the case is completely brushed. I'm a big fan of the seven mil crown with those twisted grooves. It's very sharp and easy to grip. When I first saw it, I thought it would be slippery, but the exact opposite. Screws down perfectly every time to give this watch 300 meters of water resistance. The bezel insert loomed ceramic, so it's not gonna scratch. And the bezel is beautifully done. High polish, gentle slope downwards, and then a brushed bottom portion and hexagon shape cutouts. Very grippy, and let's have a listen. Very direct and clicky, no complaints here. The dial is forged carbon, the star of the show. We have a raised loomed chapter ring with that greenish yellow tint, sharp teeth like indices and sword style hands, completely high polished. Lightning bolt seconds hand a little bit confusing. And of course the round date window. Now on every Phoebus, I always complain about the legibility of the date on the Apollo Titanium. It's a little bit squished and I think the Leviathan, yeah, I complained about that too. <laughs> so here I'm going to do the same. Come on, Phoebus. Let's increase the size of the date window. Just a hair. I love the red automatic on the dial for a nice splash of color, but the font is a little round for such a sharp, bold designed watch. It's a little bit of a mismatched non-cohesive design similar to that date window. Other than that, the Proteus is definitely a looker. Now here are the dimensions. 42 millimeters in diameter. Secret measurement of 41 millimeters. We got a thick one here. 14.2 including that double domed sapphire crystal with three layers of anti-reflective coating, no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 49 even. The bracelet is angular hexit style oyster with solid end links and solid links, screwed links for easy sizing. And although I'm not a fan of male end links, this one tapers down almost immediately, so it helps negate that negative. The clasp has a signed Phoebus logo on the foldover. It's friction fit, so you just lift, fully milled, and there is the case back. No hot spots, very smooth. That awesome logo right there. And the way you open it, it looks like a Seamaster case back. I think it's going to be difficult with the traditional two prong, which I own. The clasp is nice and thin with four micro adjusts. Powering the Proteus is none other than the Seiko NH35. 42 hours of power reserve, 24 joules, hack and wind, automatic, low beat, 21.6 VPH. We have no error here. Wow. Decent amplitude, pretty strong, 267. Now look at the rate, negative four, negative five negative four and the fourth and final round negative four. Okay. We're going to do 12 down to check the positional variance. How is this watch actually going to perform when you wear it? Amplitude did drop. Okay. 246 beat air increased. Absolutely normal for this movement and negative four, negative three. Let's go a couple more rounds negative four looking very stable from dial ups position and the fourth and final round negative five. Okay. There is the loom shot 15 layers of BGW nine and C three Swiss super luminova on that chapter ring. Phoebus never disappoints with the loom. This one is excellent. Phoebus once again, building a solid, reliable value packed dive watches with a ton of flair. This one is pretty bold. Stylistically, 
Are you guys a fan of it? Let me know down below. And if you're still here, please remember to subscribe, like the video, and maybe check out the videos on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.